What exactly happens when we get older? Why in your 30s and later is it so hard all of a sudden to lose those extra pounds? And actually, instead of losing them, they just keep adding up. From research I've heard, there should not be any physical reason why we can't look our best still at this age. So what is it? Why is this so hard? And how did my friend's cancer diagnosis lead me to the answer? I've been fit most of my life. I've also been too thin and currently a bit overweight. I know how it goes. It's up and down, up and down. But still, in my 30s, there was a definite rise and it hasn't permanently gone down. I've watched my weight most of my life, but dieting never really became necessary until I was in my 30s. And even though, like many of you, in my 30s, I've been a parent. I've gotten less sleep. I've had less time to think about what I'm eating, when I'm eating, and to focus on self-care in general. But I don't believe that that is the reason we struggle to get this done. So in today's world, obviously, social media only enforces all those beauty standards that we in our own heads have also decided that it's the way to be, the way to look, um, the way to live. And we strive for that consciously or subconsciously. But if you think about it, the entire wellness community seems more like a war zone than some sort of helpful guide. After all, there is so much fear-mongering over foods, ingredients, you name it, and an incredible amount of conflicting information. So if none of that helps us, who can we turn to? What's the answer? So I recently found out a friend of mine has cancer and as she was sharing her experience and um, describing her current diet, I couldn't help but think about how we as humans tend to be so that unless our backs are against the wall, we might know what's good for us, but many of us don't act on it. And so as I was listening to her, I became highly motivated. I was like, well, I have to pay attention to this now. And it, it doesn't need to be a friend who has cancer. It could just be a friend who sits you down for a chat that, hey, you know, I, I love you, I'm concerned about you, your weight's been creeping up, you're not taking care of yourself, and you might find that to be motivating, and then you might do what I did and start a diet, and it lasted one day. So I'm almost angry at myself. How come when my friend doesn't have the chance to choose to eat this way that I can't part ways with the obviously bad things that are hurting my health. The realization that I've come to is that weight loss is merely mental. That's it. If you think about it, a cancer patient's fear is dying. That is obviously motivation enough to make any change. But if your goal is to lose 20 pounds to fit into those cute jeans that you have in the closet, it's motivation, but not really. 
we all know it doesn't really work. So what you need is something big. You need a big why. You need a reason to act. And that is the key. Forget the idea of chasing the perfect body. Like, what is that anyways? To each their own. Like, the idea of beauty, it, it's so personal. And here's another thing. You gotta stop fixating on what to eat or what not to eat. Even calorie counting puts all of your focus on the food. And in my experience, as much as that might get you to your number, once you get to that number or once you get close to that number, if that is the only thing, the, if there's no bigger reason for you to do this than to reach that skinny body, then you will either tire yourself out in counting before you hit the number or you'll get to the number. And once you're at the number, you'll just have no reason to stay such because, I mean, you put those jeans on and now yay and now what and if you listen to all of this advice on this is healthy and this is not and oops now this article came in and it says the other way around and you should be vegan no you shouldn't be vegan you should eat some meat eggs are bad no they're not bad like you'll drive yourself mad so instead of following any of this as your guide focus on your mission and nourish your body in achieving that. Do you want to stay healthy so you can see your grandkids grow up? Have you maybe been single for a while and your weight has creeped up and you'd like to start dating again but you know you probably have better chances of finding Mr. Right if you looked a little bit better or at least gained more confidence in losing a few pounds? Or maybe it's that career that could take off or that business that could thrive from having a good physical and mental health. These are the kinds of thoughts that will get you to your goals and keep you there. These are bigger things than the things in our day-to-day. -day. They're the kind of stories that can bring people to tears, and they're the kind of victory stories that you see online when somebody tells you they lost 100 pounds. Have you noticed that? They all have that in common. Something so grand came upon that they went on this journey and succeeded and it wasn't the willpower it wasn't the exercise routine and it wasn't the diet the exercise the motivation and the diet all came about because of their purpose as a disclaimer in the end I am not a nutritionist, so if you plan on embarking on a diet or some kind of wellness journey, please consult your physician before doing so.